Okay, so we are here. Uh, I've got different clothes on, however, because I recorded it. I'm recording this on a different day. However, we're going to do the next mission straight away. We're just going to go go ahead, get straight into it. We're going to go and uh, race Mr. Skinner's. Race. So we pick up this cola bottle, and we have to do a bit more stuff this time. You know, because the mission has changed, we explained that before. I turned my volume down, and it didn't really work out well. But yeah, we explained that before. How the missions change completely, based on, you know, just everything. They're completely different missions. It's a completely different game, essentially. So we're going to play. Uh, we need to pick up this stuff. What a turn that was. And I've actually missed it. No, that's a spanner. Where is this thing? There it is, right there. Getting a lot of coins in here, which is always good. And um, we just need to get this garbage truck, and then we have to make it to the school. It's pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool new mission. You know, they'll. it's because I recorded this all already, but and I have to re-record it, which is a little annoying. Uh, but, yeah, just whatever, isn't it? It's not the end of the world. So we're going to do a massive turn coming up here like that. Beautiful. Yeah, it's definitely not the end of the world that I have to record all this again. It would have been nicer if I could get my original reactions captured. The gameplay just wasn't it wasn't smooth. It just couldn't be it couldn't be done. Anyway, we're gonna keep going and uh, we need to get to the school before Skinner. So this is the point where you normally, you know, you race him. However, this time we have to destroy him before he gets to the school. It's different and I like that. I just like the different the you know, it's just completely different. It's not exactly hard as well. Like it's not harder. It's just fun. It's just fun. Now we need to crash into him. Oh my god, I've just been completely skilled up by Skinner. It does appear he is a bit lost, however. So we're gonna we're gonna destroy him easily. Get through this level. We've got a lot of levels to go in the Simpsons hit and run as well. So this is gonna be a long series potentially. I'm just gonna record for however long I feel like recording for now. Hopefully planning on finishing it today uh, finishing level one of course then i've got to do the bonus mission stuff which is still pretty fun and uh, he is about one hit away from death two hits away from death well it doesn't die but you know what i mean how is he not gone yet you've got this one has to be it there we go and now we can calmly drive to the school we don't have to worry about any timers right now we can just go on a calm little drive however we're not gonna do that calmly who's gonna drive would we drive calmly we're gonna drive like gods here. I've nearly got hit and run. That could that could be a problem. If I get hit and run, nearly hit that. Do not get hit and run. Hit and run doesn't change, by the way. Hit and run's the same as it always is. There's a card up there. We need to get that at some point. Uh, so yes, that's when we do the 100% stuff. Let's park up outside the school, because, you know, the school doesn't actually have any parking, which is a bit shit. And there we go. We are now gonna go talk to Lisa. Uh, she's wearing blue for some reason. We can actually. I'm pretty sure I enabled something where you could kick them in here. But I don't know how to kick. How do you how do you kick on this? I thought it was right click. It doesn't appear to be so. Here we go. We did it. Woohoo. God. So much effort. But there we go. That is the mission completed. And now we're going back home before we talk to Marge. Or Marge. Uh, so let's do this. Let's get a spanner. We could do the time trial thing. The time trial thing is meant to give you... No, it doesn't give you the electors. That's the racing that gives you that. Oh, my God. Because I did it in the last playthrough. I haven't even shown you guys this yet. Let me park up outside this little box here. Now... Because Homer's clothes has changed, everything changes in this game. Let's take a look at what you can get in this game. So you get the family sedan. It has a roof on. It's standard. You can get an Audi TT. That's what you get if you win all the races. You get the pickup truck, as usual. The Plow King, the Duff truck, the station wagon, and the speed rocket. You can actually buy it as a car. Pretty cool. Really cool stuff. But it costs a lot of uh, money, that. So we're going to keep going. We're not going to... Oh, I could... Suppose I could do a few races today. Tell you what, I'm going to do one more mission, and then I think I might try doing all three races and getting the Audi TT, because it might help out for these uh, the rest of this game. So I think I might do that. So we're going to do one more mission, then we're going to you know, go ahead and do that so we can get the Audi TT, which is a... I mean, it sounds like a pretty good car. I'm assuming it has the same stats as the Electorus, which is a good car as well. Uh, probably the best car on this level. So, um, assuming it has... Ooh, actually, let's not do that because we can go down here and we can get some more coins 
from these boxes. Which is very, very useful. There's another card there. So there we go. We got some extra coins. Now we have... Right. Let's go. Let's park in our drive. As you can see, that's what we did. And let's go into the house. The Simpsons house. What are you going to say to us, Marge? Ned Flanders. What a mission this is. This is a good mission. One of the best on this level. Uh, this oh, this game is so, so good. Right, we can talk... Oh, no, we should probably bring the car over because the time starts before you get in the car, I'm pretty sure. Even if it doesn't, we're going to get in the car anyway. And we're going to go over there. And, uh, yeah, we're going to talk to Flanders and get this mission started. So, Ned, let's have a little talk. We know what's happening with you. Oh, you've lost all your stuff, which obviously Homer actually stole. Um, that's, well, that's what happened. But let's go get the stuff now. So we've got to go get his tuxedo. And uh, if I remember correctly, the tuxedo, you know, I always used to go through the jump. But the tuxedo is right here. All right, let's keep going. We need to go get the lawn mower now. Let's do that. Let's get the lawn mower. Just watch out for, you know, the hit and run. There it is right there. Pink, beautiful. Right, now we need to drive to the community centre. And the reason of that is because, you know, during this mission, you need to talk to Barney. And Barney is down by the community centre. We have a... God, we have a lot of time to get there. Like a, a really large amount of time to get there. We should be fine. Uh, as long as we don't crash, even though I absolutely just crashed. But it's close. It's really close. So there's no rush, really, to get there. Let's just... I saw a box. I could get that box. Anyway, uh, it's just past this corner. We're going to take the little shortcut, because why not? And then we're going to go over this ramp. Bounce off the wall. See, this is pure skill. We have all the time in the world to talk to Barney. And I'm going to... Why is this guy just sitting in his car? Anyway, I'm going to enter, action, collect this. I'm going to get in this car. We're going to drive in this one now. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way, actually. No, I'm not. I was going the right way. And I don't have a lot of time, actually. Why don't I have a lot of time? Yeah, but this car is actually quicker than the sedan. And just... So we're going to use this uh, instead of the sedan because it's a nice little car as well. You know, it's good. And there's Chief Wiggum coming to chase us because he's, you know, he's an arsehole. We're going to do the big jump to get away from him pretty easily. Now, I'm pretty sure if we do this jump correctly, we will also get a card. And that is exactly what we've done. We also appear to have actually gone past the next item of clothing because we did that jump. We have a lot of time, though, so we can just go pick that up. Find the duff truck with Rod's inhaler. Sure thing. Let's do that. Oh, it's right here. Hit the duff truck. So we need to keep hitting the duff truck until the inhaler pops out. Just completely new. I love it. I think it's really cool. And I can't wait to do, you know, I can't wait till I get past the fifth mission. And I can do more stuff. I can do new stuff as well. I can discover new things because there's a lot more to this game. There's a lot more to this, like, new mod of this game. It's a huge, huge, huge thing. And it's great. It's really fun. So let's just hit you one more time. Get the inhaler. How has he not dropped that there? That's ridiculous. We're going to do a side-on collision. Oh, that's a solid hit. Get the inhaler. And we can calmly have a nice relaxing drive back to Flanders' house. Hooray. This guy's actually doing good. It's surviving well. You know, it's driving well. It's quick. We've got our little driver's doing a good job. Look at this turn. Yeah, and uh, if you haven't noticed as well, there's new vehicles on the on this on this map. Like, um, there's no, you know, normally I don't think I've seen one truck that has that little thing on the back of it yet in this game where you can stand on and it just drives around. I mean, you can stand on any car, but it, it looks like they've made the cars look more normal, I suppose, and like some other stuff as well. Anyway, um, it appears that Wiggum is actually here again, which is a bit annoying because we have to run away from him again. Once we've run away from him, we will be fine, and then that will be the mission done, and uh, we can go do some stuff. Let's just do the the jump. He'll he'll lose us now, surely. Come on, yeah, come on. Ah, so, yeah, we're getting away. He's not catching us. We're too quick. He appears to be catching us, but we got the straight, and there we go. On the calm drive back to Flanders' house, I was interrupted, but uh, now we're playing again. So we're just going on a relaxing journey. Um, hopefully, don't get hit and run. Because that would suck a lot. Oh god, I'm going to get hit and run if I'm not careful. Look, Luckily those people jumped out of the way of me. That was nice of them. Let's do a nice little turn here. And then Flanders lives right here. And we're going to park in his drive. Let's go talk to him. You wait for me there, sir. And we'll um, complete the mission like that. That's the third mission done. Get in there.